first of this year's product reviews, we're going to take a look at the awesome HD 170 stealth camera from Drift Innovations. The Drift Innovation HD 170 Stealth comes with a host of great features, including full HD 1080p recording, a rotating 170 degree wide angle lens to ensure you have better control of what you're shooting no matter the angle. It also comes with easy to use helmet, handlebar or goggle strap mounts. Best of all, unlike some other helmet cams on the market, the Drift Innovation HD 170 Stealth comes with a colour LCD screen that allows you to check the shot setup is correct before you shoot, or for playback to check what you've recorded. Again, unlike some of its competitors, it has a simple one button operation, and even comes with a remote control to start and stop recording. Outstanding! Whether it's for taking your training to another level or just mucking around with family and friends, this camera is ridiculously easy to use and the quality is just unbelievable. We can give this little beauty no better rap than telling you it's the camera we use here at MXTV. It's fantastic. To get your hands on the Drift Innovation HD 170 Stealth, go to any good bike store. Yeah, it's a great little camera to feature in the first of our product reviews for 2011. And you can actually win one of these by going to our MXTV Facebook page. Now, Belly, it's definitely not the only thing we can win this year on the show. That's right, mate. Of course, we're running a massive competition where you can win yourself a brand new KTM 350 EXCF and a lot of other stuff. Now, here's how to enter. This year on MXTV, thanks to KTM and bikesales.com.au, you get the chance to be one of the first people in the world to win a revolutionary new KTM 350 EXCF. The bike that's ready to turn the enduro world upside down. The revolutionary new 350 EXCF is brand spanking new and one of the most anticipated releases ever in the enduro world. With a lightweight chrome molly chassis, modern bodywork and a new PDS rear suspension, combined with the compact and powerful new 350 EXCF engine, this bike is the ultimate for any real enduro enthusiast. The prize also comes with a complete set of riding gear from Fox Clothing, a handy Kinchrome dirt bike toolkit and a fantastic oil package from our friends at Motul. It's an unbelievable prize valued at nearly 14 grand and it couldn't be easier to enter. All you have to do is go to www.bikesales.com.au, click the MXTV competition banner, enter your details and you're in the running. The winner will be announced in our final show of the series. But keep watching the show each week to find out how you can win. So what are you waiting for? Head to the bikesales.com.au website, get your entry in, and you could be riding away with this truly incredible prize. Yeah, it's a massive prize, Belly, that's for sure. Now, it's almost time for this week's bike review, but of course, last week, we had a massive controversy with the fro being suspended. We certainly did, mate. He had to be punished. But we've had a lot of people out there sending emails, snail mails, everything that you could imagine that want the fro back. Now he's been a very naughty boy, so I don't know what we're going to do. What do you think we should do to get him back? Well, the people need to know what we can do. So, Belly, you need to tell us, what do we have to do to get the fro back on? I'll tell you what, what if you go to the MXTV Facebook page, there's a free the fro link. If we get enough likes, we'll see what we can do. Well, you've heard it from the man himself. We need to get onto the MXTV Facebook page. Click on Free the Fro. I'm certainly about to do it right now. All right, well, it's time for this week's bike review. This week in our bike review, we test the Kawasaki KLX 450R. The KLX 450R is a bike purpose-built to excel in off-road racing with a high-powered, lightweight four-stroke engine that's been tweaked for more low-end torque and has made it to a special wide-ratio five-speed transmission. The 2011 KLX 450R comes with new graphics, rims and clutch cover. And for a short time, every new bike also comes with a fantastic enduro pack worth over two grand that includes a pro circuit muffler, GoPro camera, tires, chains, sprockets, skull candy earphones and much, much more. The KLX 450R is available in Australia now and for a competitive quote on your fire and theft insurance, contact QBE Insurance, the motorcycle insurance specialists. Okay boys, what did you think? I was really excited about coming and riding the KLX. 
it's always good to come and ride a new bike and just to see what's out there. I did a little bit of research on the KLX 450R. There wasn't a great deal of changes other than a few stickers, but I was excited to get on a Kawasaki. Just love Kawasaki's. The bit of bling kit that comes with them, the, the tail and sprockets and DID chain, all this sort of stuff, end of day makes the bike look a little bit better, but it is good quality stuff, so you know it's going to last. The slip-on Pro Circuit muffler does definitely give it a little bit more grunt. It's definitely a great thing to have. It's a motocross muffler and probably a little bit loud for the environmentally conscious trail rider at the moment, but it does bring the bike to life, give it a bit more bike, a bit more bark. The engine on this KLX 450 is really good. It's got a lot of grunt, you know, you've got heaps of tractable power. But the gap between second and third was quite large. Probably need to play with the gearing a little bit. It meant that second gear lit it up, third gear you wouldn't pull it, so it was a little bit frustrating trying to work out which gear to be in. The brakes were reasonably good. I also found the rear brake to be just a little bit touchy. I stalled the thing quite a few times today. It turned really well because the back was actually quite hard compared to the front. The front was quite soft, so it was a little bit unbalanced, but it made the bike actually turn really well. I had no problems at all. Seating position, you could read the taco, you could read all that really well. For the average rider, I think a whole day wouldn't be a problem at all. It's when you're trying to compete, maybe a three hour enduro or something, that'd be a different story altogether. But for the average trail rider, it wouldn't be a problem. The bike looks really good classes. You know, it looks like an old style bike with a big chunky 18 inch tyre. Looks really good. I think it's sort of aimed more at beginner to intermediate rider. And I think, especially the average punter, can get up there with the feet dragging off the side and just chug it up the hill and get up the top and hopefully have a smile on his face when he gets there. Yeah, the KLX 450R is a great bike, Lee, and the prize pack worth two grand is pretty sweet as well, mate. But the good people out there better get onto it soon because it's not going to be around forever. No, it won't, mate, that's for sure. Now, in our bike review, one thing that we have kept in, even with the Frogon, is the hot lap. Now, just for everyone out there, with the Fro suspended, for consistency, we will have Cameron Taylor run the bikes to their limit for a hot lap time. Last week in our first episode, the KTM 250 EXC two-stroke set the pace with a first up time of three minutes and three seconds on our enduro loop. This week, the big KLX 450R just managed to squeak in under that time though to take the top spot with a three minute, 1.5 second lap. Hmm, yeah, pretty good time there, Lee, but I wonder if we'll break the three minute barrier this year. Who knows, Belly? I guess you're gonna have to tune in just like everyone else to find out. Okay, well, that's about all we've got time for here on this week's MX TV. On behalf of Brendan Bell, myself, Lee Hogan, and the whole MX TV crew, we'll see you next week. Until then, hold it on. Yeah.